back to Movie Trailers! This episode, Beauty and the Beast! So today we're doing something we've never done before on Kids React, having you react to something with your parent. I'm excited. <laughs> it's going to be really fun. You are going to embarrass me. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You ready, Mom? Yes, I am. Hi, Pop. Let's do it. It looks a little dark. That looks familiar. Oh, Disney. Disney. Uh huh. <laughs> Very enchanting. Is, is this like the new Beauty and the Beast thing? Is this the new Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson? Oh, it's the awesome. live action Beauty and the Beast. They're making the Beauty and the Beast, Beast into real. a real movie. Pretty cool. Mm. It's that girl you have a crush on. Oh my god. Papa? Oh my you must god. Leave here. <laughs> you must leave here. This castle is alive. Do you wish to take your father's place? Come into the light. Oh wow. Oh, that's a serious beast. Oh my gosh, she was so excited. Show me the girl. Look at her. What if she is the one? That's cool. The one who break it does look good. I love the cartoon version. The spell. This beautiful scenery. Hello. You can talk. Hello. They made it so realistic. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Emma Watson's so pretty. Not as terrible as he appears. Ooh. Got some action. I say we kill the beast. That's Gaston. Gaston's a nightmare. Think of the one thing you've always wanted. Find it in your mind's eye and feel it in your heart. Oh well, it looks so real. They did yeah. a good job. It's one of my favorite movies when I was little. It's pretty cool to see that they're making a live-action movie of it. I'm not afraid. She actually fits Belle perfectly. Yeah, I'm more excited that it's Emma Watson than for the actual movie. But the movie's gonna be good too. You wanna see it? Yeah. I thought so. I have memories of it and it was a great movie. Seeing this, I'm kind of worried like I'm gonna be disappointed in it compared to what my memories were when I was a kid. Hope it's as good as the cartoon was. It looks really cool. I think we should watch it. <laughs> yeah. Question time! So that was the trailer for Disney's new version of Beauty and the Beast. Did your mom or dad ever show you the older version? He hasn't, but I've seen the movie at school. My dad hasn't shown me it, but I have seen it. My mom originally showed it to me, and then my and then I watch it with my dad sometimes. Yes, multiple times. Yes, I have seen the old version. This looks like it's going to be more colorful, though. It looks really magical. Have you made an effort to share movies that you liked in your life with your kids? Yes. Absolutely. Every Disney movie was shared with Anita. Both my wife and I, we really love uh, old movies, uh, animation. So yeah, anything that we liked, of course we want to show Max. Oh, of course. I've always wanted to, I wanted them to see through my eyes what I found exciting. I get to see what they like most of all. So, and if I like it, we have something to share in common. Absolutely. I mean, I think the last one was uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. When you got to see the Gene Wilder version in yeah. school. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> Obviously, it was much better than the new version. I think it's very important. It kind of gives a glimpse of what our childhood was like, a little glimpse in the, in the past. It's a good way to bond as well, too. We got to see if we like the same type of things. So this version of Beauty and the Beast is a remake of the animated version, which was released in 1991. Yep, I wasn't even born. I wasn't born then. That's more than like 10 years ago, maybe almost 11 years ago. So how old do you think your mom was when it came out? Uh, I would say like around 17. Close. <laughs> He's 42. Eight. Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm doing math right. Six. Mm, thank you. <laughs> you want a hint? No. Actually, sure, why not a hint? Okay, how about I saw it with mommy? Did you see it with her when, when you first met? Yes. 19 or 20. You got it, 20. Thank you. <laughs> 25, 20. No, I know, I know, not 25. What am I thinking? Yeah, what are you thinking? I know. <laughs> How old are you? I was 18. You were 18? I was 18. Well, this new movie features a lot of the same characters as the 1991 version, and some of them you saw in the trailer. 
So we're going to show you some pictures of the 1991 characters compared to the 2017 characters and get your thoughts on both. Okay. Cool. They looked really cool they, they in the did. trailer. They really did. Here is Belle. What, what do you think? The, they made a very good job on the dress. Oh, yeah. she's so yeah. pretty. They look very similar, right? Yeah, the dresses are a little different. I do like the old one a little better. She's a little softer looking. I like the cartoon versions better. I think I'm biased too because I'm stuck with that cartoon version in my head. So here is the Beast. Oh wow. I, I think I like the modern day Beast a little no, better. No, the, the old, old one. Beast scared me. That doesn't scare you? No, he has a softer look. I like the real version because it's really, really lifelike, but the animated ones, uh, I like that one better. I would like the real one a little bit more since um, it's more it has like so a, much. You look into the eyes, there's so much emotions. I still like the old one better. I mean, this one just looks like a bunch of CGI and stuff. Well, the new one looks almost humanly dateable. The old one's scary. I know it sounds really weird, but he's actually- What are you talking about? So here is Gaston. I like the, the older I one. I like the older one, the animated one better. I love the animated version yeah, of Gaston. So I. I like the real version a lot. You like the real version? But, but he looks like Captain Hook. I think it would have to be the real life one, but it looks more like a representation of what he would, his personality is. I like the cartoon one because he, he's muscular and he's big, and this guy looks skinnier and kind of puny. Here are the two versions of Lumiere. Where's his face? Yeah, I was gonna say. He just looks like a candelabra. The old one's cuter. I like the real one. The real one? I think the real one's really cool, but I still I lean toward the animated one myself. You, this is a prop that moves, Dad. This one does not look like it's alive. I like the cartoon version of him better because it gives him a personality. And here's Cogsworth. <laughs> Alright, this may be the first one I actually like the other one. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! I <laughs> I like the old one because the old one is like so cute and chevy. <laughs> the real one kind of looks creepy. Actually, I would go with the real one. The interior, the construction, it just so well coincides with the character. Here is Chip. Oh, I Aww. like Chip. I like both Chips. I love Chip. The I like the old one. one. I like the new one. Of course you do. This is the first one that where you could actually you can See, tell that it's yeah. alive. Lately, Disney has been remaking a lot of their classic animated films into live action features. So why do you think that is? I mean, I just think it's because there are new generations and they want to, to give everybody their own version. I like the fact that they're doing them just because it gives us something to go watch that families can watch together. But however, I, I think they should have stuck with animation with certain things, especially the fairy tales. I think with the Disney thing, they're doing all right with it, but with uh, there's so many movies that they're recreating now that I think it's just too much. Uh, they, they need to come out with new ideas. I'm tired of seeing the same same old movie again. A lot of adults have grown up with that that version of it. And now like kids like my age could see, oh yeah, well there's a new one like that. Also, like they have better technology, so the movie could probably be like better quality. I think for our generation it just makes it more excited, exciting for us to go to a movie that we recall, but it brought it back to life. And this is a way of showing a modern version of our childhood favorites to our children. Finally, will you ask to be taken to this movie when it comes out? <laughs> Of course I'll take you. I, w I would love to see Beauty and the Beast. You want to go to the movie theaters and watch that? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. We won't miss out on that one. Will you take me to this movie when it comes out? <laughs> I'd love to. If there's a new movie that's appropriate for my age, I'm seeing it. I'm just seeing it. I don't care what it is, I'm seeing it. Addy? Yes? Will you please take me to Beauty and the Beast? Of course. <laughs> definitely. Mom, will you take me? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like the movie very much, so... I don't know. How about asking me if I'm gonna ask him to go with <laughs> me? Would you come with me to see Beauty and the Beast? Sure. That's all. Thanks for watching the first ever episode of Kids Reacting with Their Parents. If you like this episode, go Beast and hit that like button. For new content every week, hit subscribe. Just do it! Thanks for watching, goodbye! Man, this is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Dallin here from FBE. Thank you so much for coming and watching this very magical episode of Kids React. If you wanna see more of our content, we've got tons of stuff down below, so go ahead and click.